You are listening to The Michael Lodge Show. Wealth, business, and taxes. Oh, yeah, and some politics. Let's get started. Usually I just do one podcast a day, but today I had to come on and do two. I'm coming on the second time because I'm pissed off. I am so pissed off. We have businesses out there. Kohl's, Bed Bath & Beyond, did not like the political views of MyPillow.com. Very good company. All American made. Has a great story. But these two companies didn't like their polit- political position, so they said, we're no longer going to buy MyPillow.com So here we have companies trying to destroy other companies just because of their political views. That is not democracy. And nor is it consumerism. I hate I hate the word boycott. I even hate to even think about having to use boycott. But I'm telling you right at this moment in time we're going to have to boycott. If if businesses are going to make political decisions on who they're going to do business with, then it's time that we do the same thing as consumers. And so today, at this very moment in time, I'm calling for a boycott a Bed Bath & Beyond and Kohl's. I mean, I cannot believe how stupid America has become. We have become at war with people because they believe differently than how we believe. Hey, listen, Coles, listen, Bed Bath & Beyond, I I I go to your store almost every week. But let me tell you something, it's ending right now. I didn't stop going to your store because you had a different political belief than me. I never stopped that. I kept going to your store. But then you changed your business philosophy because you got corrupted by politics and you said, okay, I am not going to do more, any more business with MyPillow.com because I don't believe that they should have supported President Trump. Well, maybe I didn't believe that you shouldn't support Joe Biden or your leftist ways. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't support you anymore because of political reasons. No, I'm going to not support you because of an economic reason. The economic reason is that you have mixed your business principles with corrupted political principles, which has no, zero, zilcho ethics at all. So if if you are going to mix the two, politics and business together, I no longer want to do business with you. So from this point forward, Bed Bath & Beyond, you're out of here. Cut. Coles, you don't want to do business just because based on politics? Cut. You're no longer doing business with me. It's time that we stop this stupidity. If you are a corporation... I'm speaking directly to the board of directors. If you are a corporation and if you are making business decisions based upon political views, I don't want to do business with you. This is enough. This 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 culture that you have gotten yourself into is destructive to the American people and creates more division within the American people. Don't ever tell me you as a corporation ever believe in unity because you don't because of what you did today. Anytime that a business decides to censor anybody, they're no longer a viable business, nor are they an ethical business. Any company who decides to make business decisions based upon political views is no longer a viable company. And that's where we are today. We are dealing with corporations who think they are so powerful, 
but they are so ignorant to the way that the American people think. Politics and business are not mixable. You have now just offended millions of people because you have decided to make your company political and you've pushed a consumer to the side. Same thing with Twitter. Censoring everybody. Shut off the consumer and put them to the side. Because of political views. Well, I'm telling you right now, I'm not, I am not going to purchase anything more from companies who decide to make a political statement on they don't agree with any other company, so they're no longer going to do business with them. You, I'm sorry, you're no longer a viable company, nor are you an ethical company. And I will not take it any longer as a consumer or as an American. Now, see, even though that you guys had a different political view than me, I kept doing business with you. I didn't shut you off, but now I have to. I have to because you have to de- decided to take my business and make it political. I have never met so many stupid people in my life. Listen, if you are investing in, into these types of companies, pull your money out because they're going to get you into a lot of trouble. Any company that decides to take political views, unethical views, and push them onto the consumer is no longer a viable company. And that's where we sit today in America. We have companies that are going to tumble because they are so stupid unless they change their ways. You don't offend the consumer by taking politics and mixing mixing it in to your business decisions. You are there to make economic business decisions, not political decisions for the American consumer. That is not your responsibility, and it never shall be. Because if it is, then you're going to lose a whole bunch of business from the American consumer. This is absolutely asinine. I've never met such stupid business people in my life. If you have leaders who are making these unethical decisions, they should be removed immediately. So here we are. We're having to make a decision on who we're doing business with based on politics. I don't take on clients based upon their political views. That would be stupid of me. I don't give my business to companies based upon my political views. No. But if you're going to force your political views on me, then I am going to make a decision and cut off my ties of doing business with you then. That's how it works. What goes around comes around. Karma is a bitch. So American people, we have a problem here. We have this culture of trying to tear down other people based upon how they believe and who they believe in. What is it going to be next? What is it going to be next? Religion? We're going to start attacking Catholics or Baptists? Are we going to start doing that next? This company that do these kinds of things are mad companies. Not bad. I'm telling you that they're mad. They've lost their marbles. They've gone down the stream with no paddle. That's how dumb they are. You do not offend the consumer based upon your political views. You do not push your political views on anybody else. Keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear it. Censor yourself. Before you censor anybody else, you begin censoring yourself because right now you are idiots. You sound like idiots. Enough of this. This is Mike Lodge. If you have any comments or have any questions, I'm so pissed off, I tell you. Send me a text at 818-252-5682. Again, that's 818-252-5682 for any questions or comments. If it's a long comment, send it to me at info at lodge, L-O-D-G-E dash C-O dot com. Where have we become with this company, country? How did we become so stupid because of this? 
How in the world did Americans become so politically inept that they don't even know their constitution? I saw a report today on CBS where they went out and asked people about the Constitution and no one could answer the question of what their constitutional rights were or what the Constitution was who, or, or who was even the, 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 the head of the justice. They could not answer any of these questions. They could not even tell who the chief justice was of the Supreme Court. You guys have better start educating yourself because if you do not know your rights, you are going to lose your rights. Enough of this political nonsense within business. This is not how Americans work. We're a democracy. We give everybody a fair chance to say and do and believe in whomever they want to and vote for whomever they want to and you do not hold grudges against people because that is an unethical part of being a leader of a business. We've got a lot to do in this country. Get rid of your hate because this hate is just nonsense. Companies are not supposed to be making business decisions based upon politics. How other businesses believe. How whom they have voted for, whom they have supported. You do not make business decisions based on politics or political hate. That is not how the American democracy works. And you have failed. Bed, bath, and beyond. Coles, you have failed. And I've lost total respect for you. This is Mike Lodge. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye. This podcast has been produced by Michael Lodge, fully focused on content.